I'm a big fan of martial arts and knights, so I'm, I signed on straight away. I say he's a villain with a heart. He's um, an intense brooding type, and his life is determined by this one mission, which is to pursue the Avatar and um, bring him back to his father. The story is based in a fantastical world, um, divided in four nations. There's the Air Nation, the Fire Nation, the Water Nation, and the Earth Nation. And um, these these specific nations have um, certain beings in them which control which can control the elements, which are called benders. There's this one being called the Avatar, which is meant to be the savior to the world, and he can manipulate all four elements. He has the power to do this, and he disappeared for. Um, hundreds of years, and people think that he's um, he's a he's a folk story. He's not around anymore, and um, and this is Zuko's mission: is to find this boy, this almost impossible task. There's this constant battle between um, Zuko. There's this constant battle between him choosing between good and evil, and I mean it's so tempting with the amount of power he holds. I mean he's a kid who's a prince of a nation, the most powerful nation in the world at that time. And he has so much power, he has his whole, whole army behind him. This is a film that is um, a real, real aspect of escapism. You're in this fairy tale land with all these nations and, and people manipulating elements and all these fantastical creatures.